Oh God, my back. Oh, there's a cat. Meow. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back. Regardless of the cat, I swear if I have to film this video one more time, I'm gonna jump in the bloody river because there's wind. So word of warning, there will be wind in this video, but I had to get out. You know, I'm sure you're all feeling the same. I'm gonna go mental if I stay indoors for another moment. But anyway, let's get positive. Fake YouTube positive. <laughs> Today, um, I'm in Minsk, Belarus. Yeah, I've been here for about six weeks and I wanted to give you a bit of an update today rather than just leaving you hanging before I disappear for, you, for, you, for a few weeks. The cat is walking past behind the camera. Oh, look at the cat. That's the first thing I'm gonna talk about, disappearing for a few weeks and also something else as well. Two really good things, really positive things that I wanna go through. So the first one is I'm gonna be moving my yearly YouTube break forward a little bit. If you're a long-term viewer, you'll know that every summer I take like a four or five week break as normal just to refresh and things like that last year i did it in malaysia in september the year before that was colombia i ain't got a clue before that no idea so this year i've decided to bring it forward to may obviously the first reason for that is obvious as i said because of the current situation i can't travel well i can actually more on that in a little bit but there's not really much i can do in minsk in relation to travel videos if you know what i mean secondly Minsk itself, as much as I'm a fan of Minsk and it's very nice, it's affordable, there's great food, people are lovely, it's not somewhere in all honesty that sets me alight in the same way that Belgrade did and Mexico City did. So I feel if I did videos, more videos here, it just wouldn't have the same oomph, if you know what I mean, the same passion and drive to film a video. And the third one is the most important one. So in the last video I mentioned about my website and blog which I'm setting up, I really need some time just to write content for that because I don't want to launch that website and there'd be nothing on there. So I really want to spend that time this month getting that done so that there's a load on there for when it launches. Which brings me on to the second point. I will be launching that in beginning of June, at the beginning of June, when I get to my next destination, which you would have seen in the title of this video. Yes, I'm going back to Mexico for the sixth time. I'm like a broken record, right? But anyway, before you all jump in the comments, all right, <laughs> I'm gonna go through the reasons for that. Firstly, and primarily, the primary reason is around visas and the amount of time I can stay in a country. Obviously at the moment, being a digital nomad is difficult because I need to be in a country that I can just stay in if I need to just stay there or, or I can't leave, you know. All this year I've had the issue of counting the days. So Serbia, I could only be there for 90 days, so I was always counting how long have I been there so that I didn't breach the regulations. The same with Belarus, I've had to extend my visa until the middle of June. Thank Christ I did that, right? Um, <laughs> well, well done me in the past. <laughs> And with Mexico, as you know, for US citizen, UK citizen, you can stay there for six months without worrying about visas and things like, things like that. So in the event that I stay there for six months, I don't have to worry about counting days and moving to other countries, things like that. Secondly, it's a country I know really well. I've been there five times already, as I said, and it's somewhere I feel comfortable. And it's somewhere that I know that I've had issues with before in terms of, you know, complaining about water not working or dogs barking or, getting your laundry done but you know what sod all that it's small potatoes and actually the last couple of months Belarus has been fantastic in terms of saving money great opportunity this has given me so I'm actually going to spend a bit more on accommodation in Mexico City so that I can resolve those issues and what's the third thing oh the third thing is about the fact with my website I really want to be in a country when I start my website that I am passionate about that I can hit the ground running with if you know what I mean so I can write blog posts do photography film videos about a country that I'm passionate about. About, yeah, I'm saying about too many times. So that's that. And lastly, for any of you wankers who think that I'm going back to Mexico, oh, for the YouTube views, <coughs> Belgrade, <coughs> 50,000 views on every video. Well, not every everyone, but all, most of them are like more than Mexico. Yes, Belgrade videos get more views than Mexico, believe it or not. And so do my teaching online ones. As I've said many times before, the world is not just about Mexico. So. Before you want to be a twat and write that down in the comments get that out of your head straight away or just piss off so, <laughs> so that's that so that's coming in the future um the thing about travel and i'm going to give my spin on it i've got quite controversial views on this whole thing i see a lot of youtubers doing videos saying oh we can't travel we're in quarantine we're in lockdown they may be but the thing is we need to get back to normal and if you look at most of europe a lot of my English students are from in European countries. They're going back to normal now. And 
that there seems to be this view that, for many, I'm not just talking about YouTubers, but everyone, that we shouldn't be going anywhere until there are zero cases of corona in the whole world. Newsflash, people, that's never going to happen. There, corona will always be here. <laughs> the common cold is a coronavirus. So we can't just stop forever. And there is that balance between looking after ourselves and others and also money and the economies of countries. I'm not saying that Donald Trump should open the US like today, because that's clearly not the case. But there has to be that balance. And I think we do need to get back to some level of normality. And I think if everyone was really honest, part of you may feel the same that you know this whole thing about stay home lockdown is bullshit in a lot of ways yes of course that protects health um, workers things like that but it's something that I don't think everyone's being honest about if you know what I mean people are going out you know even in countries that have lockdowns people are going to work people are getting haircuts yes Switzerland have hairdressers open again how do I know this? Because I speak to people every day doing English lessons and they have the, exactly the same view as me. So surely it can't just be me. So that's why I'm traveling again. And actually I don't have a choice because I can't stay in Belarus for longer. There is no other country in Europe I can go to. There are about eight countries in the world I can enter at the moment as a British citizen. So um, that's that. Lovely. Yes, it is controversial, but that's me. <laughs> so I hope you all have a wonderful time over the next four or five weeks. Um, you can, of course, keep up to date on Instagram, on Twitter, things like that. Yes, I have a Twitter now. Can you believe it, mate? Bonkers. Um, and um, I will see you in Mexico.